Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr Telephone and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Xbox One and the download speeds. So I'm going to be using three different connections to see which one is the best. We're going to compare wireless, which most people use. We're going to compare the power line adapter and a wired connection. Now you already probably know about wireless and the uh, wired connection, but a power line adapter basically uses the mains wiring in your home, the electric wiring, to push the ethernet signal through. So you would plug one adapter in by the router with a short little patch lead from the router into the power line adapter, and that pushes the signal all around the house through the electric wiring, and then you would use another adapter by your outlet to your Xbox or your smart TV or your PC, uh, wherever you want the wired connection. So it is a wired connection, but it's using the electric wiring in your house. So if I had to take a guess what, which is best, I think wireless would be the worst, then I think it'd be the power line adapter, and then it would be the wired connection. Now I always use a wired connection because I've already hardwired my house everywhere for it, but for the purpose of this video, to make it easier to understand, I'm literally just traipsing the cables right the way across the floor. So I'll show you where my router is in a minute. It's under the stairs. It is roughly, I would say, about four or five meters away. So uh, not, very, not very far, not very far at all. Maybe about 15, 15 foot. So uh, the wireless signal should be pretty strong. Now, uh, a lot of people blame their service provider when they're getting poor speeds. But a lot of the time, it's whatever they're using in between their router and their equipment that's giving them the poor speed. So if you've got your router tucked away somewhere and there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of uh, microwaves or if there's RSJs running across the uh, ceiling, if you've got DECT phones, you know, the digital cordless phones, this can all affect the wireless signal. So if you went over to wired, you might see a huge improvement. So it's worth doing this little test just to see because it might really improve your experience on online gaming. If you're watching Netflix and it keeps, you know, uh, the quality's bad or you're watching YouTube and it keeps buffering, then uh, try a wired connection and it might be a lot better. So what we're doing is we're going to do a, a little chart here. We're going to write down the speeds and the, the upload, the download, the packet loss and the latency of each of the wireless, power line and wired and we'll see how we get on. So first of all I'm just going to show you my uh, setup and then I'll, I'll get to the testing. Now the testing we're using is the actual testing built into the Xbox One when you go via the settings. I'll show you that in a minute and uh, we'll, see what, uh, we'll see what we get. So down here we have the Xbox One. At the moment we've got no cables connected to it apart from the power cable and the HDMI cable at the back. Okay, so your ethernet cable is, your ethernet port is that one there. Okay, that's your ethernet port. Okay, so we've got two cables here. I'm using Cat6 cable on both of them. The black cable, Cat6 ethernet, goes straight back to the router and the white Cat6 cable goes to the power line adapter. So I'll just show you both of them now. So this is the power line adapter over here, plugged into the wall electrical socket. This is an old adapter now, this is about six years old. It was a cheap one, it's unbranded, I just bought it just to test them out. This is uh, only capable of up to 85 meg. You're never going to get 85 meg out of these adapters, but that's, that, that, that's what they call them. The common ones in the shops now are the 200 meg and the 500 meg ones, and they really come down at price. You can get them now for a little over £20 from places like PC World, so they're uh, very cheap, or things like you know Amazon and eBay. Okay, so that's the power line adapter. As you can see, I've got my cable coming out the bottom of it. Yeah. Now I'll just show you where the router is. This is the black cable here, which plugs straight into my router, which is under the stairs here. Now I know this isn't the best uh, area here for a wireless signal, but it's tucked away out of harm's way. I don't like the look of all this cabling, so I'll try to have as, as least cable. I like to have all the cable in the house hidden. So basically we have the black cable here plugged straight into the ethernet port at the back. Just bring that down there. Okay, and the other cable, the other black cable, goes up to this cable here, up to the power line adapter here. So that's the one by the router and then you can plug the other one into any outlet in your house and that will provide the ethernet signal to any other outlet in your house. So they're a good idea, nice and simple. Okay, this is just a Virgin Media Super Hub. Yeah, right. Okay, let's do the testing. So to begin with, we'll do wireless, and then we'll do the power line, and then we'll do the 
wired connection and we see how we get see how we get on. Let's get the controller. Right, so you need to go down to settings, which is this one here, or wherever it's going to be on your, your home page. And now you need to go to network. And at the moment you can see that we're on our, we're on wireless. This is Virgin Media. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yep, we're on wireless here. Virgin Media. And you need to go over to detailed network statistics down here. So go down. And what we'll do now, it will it will test the connection. So this is purely wireless at the moment. I'll just get my pen and we'll scribble down these results. Normally takes about a minute to do the test. Now I'm guessing that wireless will be the worst, but it might not be. I'm hoping that wired will be the best connection it normally is. Right, here we go. So, uh, download speed, that's massive actually. I should, uh, I should let you know that I've got a, a 50, a 50 meg Virgin Media line. So download speed is uh, 46.37, upload 304, packet loss zero, and latency 158. Okay, so that's that. Now let's try the power line adapter. I'm surprised that that wireless connection is actually that good. I suppose you know the wireless strength is 71. I am actually quite near the router. So now we're gonna we're plugging in the plugging in the white cable down here now. And let's uh, go back. Now you can see here it says wired, so we've now doing the wired connection, but this is the power line connection, so this is gonna go all through the house now on the electric wiring. And let's see what we get. I'm really amazed that the wireless signal was that strong. I will say that the electric wiring in my house isn't the uh, isn't the best. It's 40 years old, so uh, that may may make a difference. Oh, there you go. So as you can see, it's a uh, it's uh, it's a huge difference. Much worse. So that's 13. 0.92, so nearly 14 meg. Upload speed is pretty much the same, just under 2.94. Packet loss, zero. Latency, tiny little bit worse, 160 milliseconds. Okay, and uh, let's just show you now. Take that off here. So now unplug the white Ethernet cable, which was the power line one, and let's get our black cable. And let's test this one now. Okay, let's go back. Again, we've got a wired connection, wired. Let's go down to detail network stats. And let's see what we have. Now, while that's wearing away, I'll just show you what packet loss means and latency means. So basically, uh, you can see that there. You'll be able to pause that and read it. So packet loss is the, is the failure of one or more transmitted packets to arrive at their destination and latency is delay, it is how long it takes the data to travel between its source, destination, its source and destination measured in milliseconds. Okay so, okay, so here we have the wired connection. So the, uh, the download speed, there you go, is basically the max it can be because I've got a 50 meg connection. It's actually saying here that it's 53.89. Uh, upload 3.04. Packet loss zero, and latency 156. Okay, so uh, okay, that is surprising. I thought that uh, I thought that the wireless would be the worst, but as you can see see here, you can see that the wired is the best connection at nearly 54 meg. Upload 3 meg and 156 milliseconds. So obviously the lower on the latency, the better, the better the figure. 
yeah? Uh, then it's wireless at 46.37, upload the same, just over 3 meg, 0 packet loss and uh, 158 milliseconds. And the power line is, is, is the worst in this instance, uh, only 13, well nearly 14 meg download, nearly 3 meg upload, 0% packet loss and 160 milliseconds. So uh, I feel a bit bad on the power line because it is a really old one. I'm sure if you went to the shop and got a 200 meg one or a 500 meg one, that figure would sh shoot up. But uh, you know, these are the ones that I had around the house. I still thought the power line adapter, because it is an 85 meg, would be as good. I thought it would be better than the wireless. But there you go, I'm really surprised at that wireless result. But uh, it is because we are actually quite close. We're only, as I say, you've seen how long it was, about five metres away. So that's probably why if your wireless router, if you've got a bigger house and it's further away or there's a lot of interference, then uh, these figures I'm sure would be uh, drastically different. But I always think go for the wired connection and then you're not going to have any problems. Okay, hope you found the video useful. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. I do a lot of these videos on uh, networking and telecoms. And uh, yeah, if it's uh, helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care now.